In the U.S., sepsis strikes more than one million patients annually, puts 400,000 in the ICU, and kills 215,000. When disease-causing germs like bacteria or viruses do get past the barriers, we can get infections. Our immune system has many different types of guard cells in every part of our body quietly but vigilantly looking out for infection. The guard cells communicate and coordinate with each other through hundreds of different chemical signals. When germs invade our bodies, they damage our tissues and make us sick. The guard cells in the infected part of the body quickly detect the germs, get very active, and release chemical signals. The signal molecules call other guard cells to the infected site to help destroy the germs. This process is called inflammation. Usually, inflammation destroys the germs, heals our injured tissue, and we get better. Sometimes, a severe infection stimulates a very aggressive attack by our immune system. The signal molecules become so abundant that they spill out of the infected organ into the circulation, causing inflammation as they spread to other organs in the body. This is when severe sepsis occurs, and organs begin to work poorly and often fail. Now, time is of the essence. Proper diagnosis and treatment must begin quickly because the infection, metastatic inflammation and organ failures can kill in a matter of hours. Fighting sepsis is a huge problem. Antibiotics, fluid therapy, and intensive care are very important, but cannot control the massive inflammation of the body's own aggravated immune response. This aggravated septic inflammation involves over 100 inflammatory mediators and dozens of different types of guard cells activated throughout the body. Inflammatory mediator molecules range in size from quite small to quite large. Conventional hemofilters take out the smaller mediators and when used very aggressively, they have helped some severe sepsis patients. Unfortunately, they are risky to use and their results are inconsistent. Still, they've shown us the importance of removing a range of many different types of mediators to control inflammation in the case of severe sepsis. We believe that filtering out the widest range of inflammatory mediators should provide a robust treatment for sepsis. As part of this process, an important blood protein named albumin is also partially filtered from the system. Competitors' devices avoid removing albumin, limiting their effects to the smaller inflammatory mediators. We accept removal of some albumin during septiflux filtration and replace it with readily available and commonly used albumin solutions. This enables us to remove some of all sizes and types of inflammatory mediators, which we believe will result in the control of septic inflammation. Immunosept offers therapeutic blood filtration with a rapid reversal of inflammation. This means more people survive, and those who survive have a much higher quality of life. It's time.